But that balcony row keeps going on and on with Harry and Meghan. First they don't want to come, then they do want to come, then they want their children. Now the children have got titles. You see, the problem, as a lot of people think, is that Harry and Meghan seemingly just want to push for their own agenda. They didn't want to be in the royal family. They didn't want to be trapped, as Prince Harry says. But now, of course, they like all the, shall we say, uh, extras that come with being part of the British monarchy. They know it sells well. It's the only thing, really, that they've got left to sell. That's the big problem. But now a bigger problem is emerging because, as one can imagine, as we've told you on previous videos, King Charles really needs to put down that very much shiny shoe on his youngest son, not just for the sake of the British public, but also for his eldest son, Prince William II, uh, the Prince of Wales. What's interesting here is simply this, that yes, they wouldn't mind a slot on the balcony, but let me explain the background to that to give you a bit of clarity as to exactly what the mainstream media are presenting and of course what we found out exclusively for you. Hi, good morning, nice to see you. Neil Sean here, lovely daffs behind me. You'll see them. Spring has sprung, you see, yes. My spring hasn't sprung, I don't know about yours. Still climbing out of bed like, well, you know. But <laughs> we, I think once the sun comes, we all feel a little bit better, don't we? There's nothing like a few rays, even if you're just sitting out in your back garden or just sitting by a window, it cheers you up. I know I often say this to people, but it's important. We have a lot of viewers who are on their own, who don't necessarily talk to anybody uh, all day or perhaps just get one phone call or whatever. And it's nice to connect with people. You know, it's nice to share how we're all feeling. So if you're feeling a bit, a bit exhausted today, join the club. And you're not alone. You're always welcome here with us, our large community now, all thanks to you. Wow, thank you so much for everybody who's joining this channel. It's truly appreciated. Back as ever, though, to your breaking ball story of the day. This really is a very fast story because the bottom line is this, you see. King Charles, at some point, wouldn't mind his uh, youngest son, the former royal known as Prince Harry, to step onto that balcony with him. That's right. Now, when you think about it, it would make a picture perfect sense, although it could be rather tricky, couldn't it? Given, of course, what uh, Harold, as he's known, uh, has said about his evil stepmother, Camilla, wanting her own publicity. All eyes will be on them, not necessarily on the king, and that could be problematic again. Now, according to a very good source at the palace, you know, the king wouldn't mind it, even just for a snapshot. I personally think it's a risky manoeuvre, you know. The public do not want Harry and Meghan over here. It's as simple as that. There will be a fraction of fans, whichever way you look at it. But the majority of people feel that he's done the wrong thing. And, you know, it's up to you to decide that. But as I say, the king, the balcony and the old debacle, that's really what's on offer. What Prince Harry would like is his two children, his wife and himself, no doubt taking centre stage because they know that is the big money shot, the monetization and the shot that he can talk about behind the scenes at a later point, no doubt with yet another deal with a streaming giant. Possibly though, we'll let you know more when we do, not Netflix. As ever, I'll let you know more as I know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.